Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about VHF, UHF, SWR watt meters from MFJ. Got a few of them to show you and we'll get to it right after this. Okay, first up we have the MFJ842. Has a frequency range of 140 to 525 megahertz. Input impedance, 50 ohms. Power range, 15 and 150 watt forward power. 50 and 50 watts reflected power. And those can be changed through the little blue button at the bottom. Minimum input power is one watt. Connectors on the back are UHF, I'll show you those in a sec. Dimensions, 3.35 inches wide by 3.43 inches high by 3.74 inches deep. Weighs about half a pound. It has a lamp, as you can see, which is 12 volt DC. This is where you connect the power cord. That's only for the lamp. It will work without the lamp connected to any kind of power. This side is for the antenna or dummy load, and this side is from the transmitter. Now let's take this apart and see what it's got going on inside. Okay, take this apart. There's only one screw that goes in between the antenna and the transmitter connectors. You can separate it from the back to work on it easier with this plug. And it is adjustable. You can calibrate it by using these four trim pots. You have high forward, low forward, high ref, low ref. And there are instructions in the owner's manual on how to do that. When the blue button is pushed out, that's 15 watts. When it's pushed in, that's 150 watts. And you have 15 on the lower scale and 150 watts on the upper scale. For reflected, you have 50 watts on the upper scale. Okay, we're going to try low power on the FT2980, which is 5 watts. It looks like we're getting right at about 5 watts. And we are going into a dummy load. Okay, now the button's pushed in for high, and we're gonna see what we get with high on the radio, which is 80 watts. And it looks like we're right at about 70. This is the MFJ883. Goes from 125 to 525 megahertz. Can handle power range of zero to 200 watts. Power scale is two watt, 20, and 200 watts. Maximum power, 200 watts. You can do forward, reverse power, PEP, and SWR. It's 140 millimeters wide, 84 millimeters high, and 122 millimeters deep. Comes with an operating manual and the 13.8 DC wire so that you can turn on the light. You notice the dial says times one, times 10, times 100. As you can see on the scale, it gives you the three corresponding times one, times 10, times 100 and a number two up on top, just multiply it, and that gives you your power rating. You have your forward power, reflective power, and all the red is for SWR. Top is where you hook up your transmitter, bottom is for antenna or dummy load, and here's where you hook up the 12 volt wire for the light. And right around the main adjustment dial, you got six trim pots. The instruction manual doesn't say anything about how to calibrate it, but there are two adjusting screws right here. If you call MFJ, they could probably tell you how to calibrate it if it needs it. Okay, again on the radio, we're on low, which is 5 watts. I have it set to the center, which is 10 times the 2, which is up to 20 watts. Okay, I turn the light off this time, make it a little easier to see. We're on the center scale for 20 watts, and I have the radio down to the lowest setting, which is 5 watts. And on this radio, or this scale, we're on about four watts with about 1.1 reflected. This is okay, now I have the meter set to the 200 watt capacity and I've got the radio set to high which is 80 watts and we are getting 80 watts and we are about 1.4 it looks like SWR. And the last one we have is the MFJ873. Like the others it covers 125 to 525 megahertz Power range is 1 watt to 200 watts. Power scale, 5 watt, 20 watt, and 200 watt. Maximum power, 
200 watts. The minimum power required is one watt, has an input output impedance of 50 ohms, and the dimensions are seven and a half inches wide, 3.35 inches high, and 5.3 inches deep. Weighs about one and three quarter pounds. Very bottom row is for five watts. Next row is 20 watts, third row 200 watts, and then the top scale is for SWR. Top one is for connecting to your transmitter, bottom one is for antenna or dummy load, and again your 12 volt DC connector for the lamp. Let's take a look inside this thing. When you look inside the 873, it has another six trim pots. The owner's manual does not tell you how to calibrate this, but there is an adjustment screw right here in the below the meter. You probably call MFJ headquarters and have someone explain how to do it if it needs to be done. Okay, on the 873, I have the function set to forward at 5 watts, and the radio is also set for 5 watts. And it looks like we're getting just shy of 4.5 watts. Now the meter is still set for forward. The power rating is at 20 watts, and I have the radio set to 10 watts. And it looks like we're right at about 10 watts. It's a little shy. Okay, now I have the radio set to 80 watts. We're still set to forward, and the power rating is set to 200 on the meter. On this one, it looks like we're at about 95 watts on the upper scale. Okay, to check the SWR, you turn the function dial to SWR set, key the radio, turn the SWR set dial until the needle is right at the triangle underneath the word cal. Once that's done, turn to SWR and then key the microphone again. It looks like I'm at about 1.2 and a half. At the time this video was filmed, the 842 cost $69.95, the 873 cost $89.95, and the 883 cost $109.95. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.